Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and 9.2 was just released on the European server today, and I've rushed to get you my working mod pack available for the current iteration of the game. Last patch, my mod pack was downloaded 65,000 times, and I don't have a choice but to get it for you as quickly as possible as my inbox fills in with requests for it. But don't worry, for the last four patches, I've released it on the first day that it was released in Europe, and I will continue to try and do so for as long as I can. So this video is going to show you exactly what you need to do to install this mod pack and what it will do to your World of Tanks client. Firstly, you'll need to download this zip file in the description below. Then you want to open it and take the two folders, the 0.9.2 folder and the XVM folder, and copy them into your World of Tanks res mods folder. Now, if you already have a 0.9.2 and an XVM folder in there, you want to delete these or make a backup of them before you delete them, before you put my mod pack in there. Next, since 9.0, XVM has required you to authenticate your World of Tanks account on their website. Now, this is only necessary if you want to use the statistics in the mod pack. And if you want to use my mod pack without the statistics, then you don't have to do this part. You want to sign in for your correct region, mine is EU. And then all you have to do is click Activate Statistics. You'll be given two weeks, towards the end of which you need to just simply come back and deactivate and activate and you'll have another two weeks. So now I'm going to show you the highlights of the mod pack in game. So as you load in, you're going to be greeted with some statistics about your team and your opponents. The first number is the number of games that you've played. The second number is your efficiency rating. And the third number is your overall win percentage on the account in any tank that they have played. XVM will also estimate your team's percentage chance of winning based on how your efficiencies match up against your opponents. But definitely take this with a pinch of salt, it's only an estimate. So to highlight a few of these lines on the minimap, the white one is 500 meters. That is the maximum render distance in World of Tanks. Beyond that line, your client will physically not render the enemy tank. That doesn't mean that you can't shoot them. The yellow one is 445 meters, which is the maximum range for which you can spot opponents with your tank. Now the blue ring is dynamic. It will extend based on your actual view range on your tank and takes into things such as binoculars. So I played this game just today and I'm absolutely loving the 8% rate of fire buff that the FP4202 has received. Oh, this is a hairy situation. This is a very hairy situation. Oh dear, this Yangpanzeri 100 is not having a very good start to 9.2, is he? <laughs> so as you do damage to your opponents, this hit log in the top left-hand corner of the screen records it. This can be very useful to see, give you, well, just to give you a slight indication of how well you might be doing during the battle and whether you're getting closer to maybe a mastery badge that is eluding you. XVM, as we can see on the minimap, records the last known location that the enemy was spotted in. So you can use that to give an idea of what the enemy are doing with their flanking if you're forgetful and didn't see it as it happened. Also, one thing that's useful is that you can zoom out further using my mod pack, which can allow you to have a look around the battle more easily. So that was my 9.2 mod pack. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you appreciate it, then please consider rating the video down below. It will really help the channel out. And keep an eye out for my future content coming in the next weeks and months. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic, and hopefully I'll see you soon.